If you're feeling heavy and perhaps carrying a little bit too much weight, well, maybe you need a ballast carrier. And that's exactly what we have here. It's another limited edition model from WSI. This one pairs up a Mercedes-Benz Arox MP4 Stream Space with a 5-axle ballast carrier, which appears to be a Goldhofer design. It is a limited edition, and it's in the colours of the French company Mediaco. Well, there's not really any assembly to do, you just hook up the tractor to the trailer and clunk click does the trick. Straight away we are underneath the Aerox and we can see the nice gearbox and transmission and suspension detailing. The other detailing WSI normally provides is different tyre types on the driven and steering axles. The cab looks great and it's got beacon lights and the air horns on the roof. And other graphics make it look impressive including the Mediaco and Convoy Exceptionnel signs. The Aerox grille is very convincing and there's a realistic number plate. The lights look good too. There are a number of other detailed graphics printed on the side of the cab, and the wheels are detailed, as are other parts on the chassis. Behind the cab there are a couple of spotlights at the top, and there are maximum speed signs and a fire extinguisher box. Coiled lines are also modelled, and at the back the lights have plastic lenses, and there are nice wheel arches. Moving on to the ballast carrier, and there are various tanks modelled, and there are big fat super single tyres on the wheels. All of the axle assemblies are modelled in metal, as are the steering components. There are a few tiny graphics on the trailer, but none that indicate the make of the trailer. And you can see that the landing legs really need to be able to be fully retracted. There are decent sidebars, and up on top there's plastic replica timber decking. There are also plenty of holes for deck posts. The detailing at the back of the trailer is very nice and very realistic. A particularly nice aspect are the lights on tiny stalks. One interesting question is how much can a trailer like this carry? Well, in Europe at least, a typical maximum axle load is 12 tonnes. So with five axles that gives you 60 tonnes, with more available at the kingpin. So, with a 12 tonne maximum axle load, how much does this 5 axle crane weigh? Well, let's find out and use the Cranes Etc weigh bridge. And if you said 60 tonnes, are you crazy? This is only a scale model. The first test of the working parts is the Arox steering, and it's pleasing to see that it achieves a decent angle. Rolling it along the Aerox is not quite so smooth, with the driver obviously trying to do handbrake turns. With the steering set, the Aerox can at least achieve a decent turn. We can tilt the cab forward to see the engine, but the balance isn't quite right because the cab won't stay tilted. But if we do look in closely, the engine is nicely detailed. Now we'll take a look at the ballast trailer, and the first thing to look at is the proportional steering. And you can see that the mechanism works well. Also good is the independent suspension on every axle. The trailer features landing legs which can be unscrewed to lower them. But for some reason on this model the design doesn't allow the legs to be fully retracted. And that's a pity because then they don't look quite right. One thing that is nicely engineered though is that all of the wheels maintain an even contact with the ground so they all rotate when the trailer moves. 
Also, with the steering set, you can manoeuvre the trailer realistically. And in case you didn't see it the first or second time, let's have another look at the proportional steering. And from this dog's eye view, it looks realistic. Another feature on the trailer is that the first axle can be clipped up out of service. So that saves tyre wear if it's running empty. And if you're careful, you can get a decent clearance on the first axle so the wheels don't turn when the trailer moves. Also included with the model are a set of metal deck posts and there are plenty of holes you can stick them in. But you might need to adjust them a bit to get them to stand straight. So this is a ballast carrier usually used for carrying heavy crane parts. So let's load it up. This is a very detailed model from WSI with some very nice functionality. It also looks particularly nice in the colours of Mediarco and it would pose really well with a heavy crane in the same colour scheme. So it's an interesting piece of heavy haulage in popular colours and it's very good. <laughs> Thank you.